on Midco Sports tonight, it's the South Dakota High School Report. Jason Andera gets us up to speed on all the hoops action from SD. Then we switch gears to the college basketball scene. Hear from SDSU's TJ Otzelberger on his squad's perfect start to league play. And finally, a three-point shootout between two of the Summit League's best ballers. All of that plus much more, Midco Sports tonight tips off right now. Hello and happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Kelly Stewart, and this is Midco Sports Tonight. Well, we are going to start the show off with a question. Do you know what Jason Andera likes to talk about more than anything else in this world? It's not politics. It's not the meaning of life. He likes to talk about high school sports. So you know what? We're going to let him do that right now. Here is Jason and his basketball forecast for the week. Take it away, Jandy. Always grateful for the opportunity to Kelly to talk about high school sports. Well, let's start with the basketball forecast. Time to talk about some mysterious rain showers in the area. Last Tuesday, we know it's cold outside, but it was raining inside the Lincoln gym on Tuesday night. It wasn't freezing rain either. It was a steady tropical warm rain all the way from beyond the arc. Lincoln came into the game shooting over 40% from three point land. Well, this game, they outdid themselves. 15 threes were good out of 27 attempts. That's a 55% clip, and Alex Glanzer led the way. He was 7 of 10 from beyond the arc. Great night for the Lincoln Patriots. You know what? I learned a new term today. It's called the altimeter, and I needed another weather instrument for this show. So the altimeter reads the altitude above sea level, so I had to check out which teams have gone the furthest above sea level this season. So here's a look at the new prep media poll and the new number one teams. Lincoln stands in at number one. Madison, number one in Boise. Madison's a team that was not number one last week. They took over that spot from T. And let's take a look at some of the Madison highlights in that game where they played against T and they dominated a 76-59 definitive win last Friday night. The Yankees have been spectacular. Aaron Fegan was also good. Great night for Madison. Let's take a look at Rapid City Stevens. They are the number one team in class AA in girls basketball, and they have had an outstanding start to this season. They took out the number one team in their class, Aberdeen Central, with a four point win. And then out in the Black Hills, another strong team, St. Thomas More, have been doing it from wire to wire year after year. They stay at number one. They go to the Hanson Classic this Saturday, so some good teams coming out of the Black Hills. All right, let's take a look at everybody's favorite part of the basketball forecast, the Thunder Report. And I'm really appreciative to Shane Merrill for hashtagging Thunder Report on these dunks from Camden Belias. These throwdowns were monstrous in Parker. We haven't seen dunks like this since Zach Anderson was a senior at Parker a couple of years ago. The turnaround, the flush, great dunk. And then another team dunk, I like to call this, because there's a couple passes involved and Belias sends one down. Nobody can get in his way. And then in Tuesday night on the Lincoln Gym again, once again, it's Matthew Moore as the freshman out of Yankton. He only takes about two steps inside the three-point line before he launches and hits this one. So we really appreciate, keep sending us the great dunks that you see across South Dakota. Remember, you can tag me on Twitter or use the hashtag Thunder Report and we can make sure we get that in. Quick look at our seven-day planner for the next week. Big shootout coming in Madison. We are going to televise this seven game shootout in Madison. Here are some of the games and the percentage to win. I will tweet those out to everybody, but the big game everybody's looking forward to, Irene Wakanda taking on Hamlin. This is gonna be a great matchup of two teams with just one loss on the season. Kelly, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about being in Madison for the Midco SN shootout. I know, I can't wait. Love to see that high school basketball. Well, thank you so much, Jandy, as always. When we come back, get to know standout sophomore for the NDSU women's basketball team. Our own Brian Sean goes one-on-one -on -one with Riley Jacobson next on Midco Sports Tonight. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics.